Chris Brown. Portsmouth were beaten 2-1 at home by Swindon. Matt Ritchie put Swindon ahead against his former club. They went two ahead when Andy Williams broke down the left into the box and then finished nicely. Portsmouth fought back but could only manage one goal from Livermere Michalik in the 92nd minutes. Bristol City picked up their first away points of the season last night at Peterborough. Sam Baldock pounced on this ambitious back pass to score the Robins' first away goal of the campaign before hooking up with Albert Adoma to double his tally six minutes later. In League One, Swindon also won 2-1 away. Matt Ritchie opened the scoring against his old club and Andy Williams chalked up his first Swindon goal in style. Swindon's travelling support hope victory at Portsmouth will return their side to form after four games without a win. They were rewarded with a fine display which must have pleased Paolo Di Canio even though he was less than satisfied after the final whistle. The best chance of the opening moment, Matt Rich's shot. Sting in the hands of Anderson while Williams couldn't get to the rebound. Ritchie began his career in the Fratton Park Academy and his turn and shot showed his determination to score in his first game there since November 2010. Well, Swindon dominated the first half with clearer chances. Collins, the latest with the header, produced a terrific Anderson save, but Portsmouth still had to clear off the line. But the game was less than great on 33 minutes, completely missing the punch. Jeppies with the clearance which saved him from blushing and a rollicking from Michael Appleton. Well, Swindon finally got their just desserts on the stroke of half-time. Ritchie inevitably finding space for the shot on the right-hand side, his third goal of the season. And ten minutes into the second, they had a second. Williams with a fine run and cut back down the left. His accurate shot just would not be denied. Canio would have a go after the game for going to sleep for the last ten minutes. The defence getting the rollicking, the defensive lapse, meaning Howard charged down a clearance. Complete chaos in the Swindon penalty area. Rogers shot blocked, but eventually the danger cleared. Portsmouth did get one back from a corner though. Michelic with the unerring header from the flick on, but that was as close as the home side got. Swindon's first win since our League Cup victory over Stoke. Portsmouth one point off the bottom four with a ten-point deduction due when they leave administration.